charge of ward. He's never had one for the rest. <laughs> George has said to the bus, Hello, who are you? What's that? Oh, hello, you must be with George Ward. I'm Bertie. I've heard about you doing many big things like taking food and drinks when roads were never made. I've come to help with help you with your passengers today. It's nice of you to help me. I am an old engine, you know. Well, I thought we could have a race. A race? Oh, I haven't had one for years. Let's make it then. Okay. The drivers agreed to the race. The secretary, Doreen, said, Are you ready? Go. Off they went. We George couldn't go fast as fast and Bertie drew in front. He was running well, but did not hurry. He didn't mind, though, because there was a level crossing. Bertie came. There were no gates here in these part, parts. They were never made. Goodbye, Bertie, said we Georgia. After that, the roots were not together, so they couldn't see each other. And we George had to stop to let off his passengers. They set off again. Harry, Harry, come along, he sang to all his coaches. Harry, Harry, oh no, that's Bertie. He was in the lead again. We're about to lose, said his coaches. We George had came to Huonville village, feeling puffed out. When he had a drink, Bertie passed. Goodbye, we George, you must be tired. Sorry, I can't stop. 
I can't stop. We buses have to work, you know. Off I go. We'll see about that, muttered we Georgie. When his tank was full, he went off again. His line was rerouted ever since Rosie brought her own railway. He saw Bertie, who was dropping children to the school. He started with a roar and chased on after we Georgia Ward again. We Georgia started to pick up full speed, steaming in the lead. People in train and bus cheered as they went side by side and foot by foot, yard by yard, we Georgia was in lead. Bertha tried hard, but the black engine, engine was too fast. At last he came to the Ida Bay Railway Way. Phew, I've done it, he puffed. Everyone was there to celebrate We George's victory and gave Bert a welcome to their place. Well done, We George. That was fun, but to beat you better, I would like to have my road rerouted. They often meet each other in other places. Sometimes they like to talk about their times and what they did in them. But the race was all they talked about. But Bertha's passengers don't like being bounced like peas in a frying pan. And Graham Horse has warned we Georgia not to race at dangerous speeds. So although, between you and me, they would like to have another race. Thomas would like to know about this, don't you? <laughs>